we don't have enough machinists in the US. We haven't even because we haven't, you know, we've we've been sending so much of our manufacturing overseas, we've literally lost the ability to to build certain things in the US. And so um, you know, we used to need, as an example, like a ton of uh, you know, I'll give give you an example of 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 one of the businesses we're we're invested in is called Hadrian. Mm -hmm. Um Super interesting company. They're building um, basically an automated uh, factory for space and defense parts. Um, and you know the CNC machinists that used to build these um, these parts. The average age of a, of a machinist in the U.S. is um, is sixty five. Mm -hmm. Like literally, the machinists are are dying and retiring in the U.S. Wow. And the kids are not becoming. Um, um, but uh, machinists, you know we don't have enough machinists in the US. And so um, what, you know, what Hadrian is doing is, is, you know, building just a far more efficient um, factory and it's really using their software. Um, mm -hmm. It's a software defined manufacturing process. And so, you know, what that means, and, and you know what, we're really good as a country at building software. Yeah. Like we are not as good at putting a lot of people in an assembly line and trying to build stuff. And right. so I think the amazing opportunity we have right now, and kind of we think of this as like a once in a generation opportunity, because you can now implement like literally 25 years of software mm -hmm. um, because we now have Gen AI, we now have, um, you know, sort of much more sophisticated um, ways of collecting data 